So this is a glorious story for me. We have covered ad nauseum on The Fowler Show, uh, these anti-vaxxers that think for some reason that vaccines cause autism. And this for me is like the icing on the cake. Okay, so before I talk about the actual story, a little background, right? So the overwhelming majority of scientists agree that vaccines do not cause autism. It's been established, study after study has shown this, and even the original research used to peddle the myth that vaccines cause autism was eventually retracted due to falsified data. Okay, but that hasn't stopped many anti-vaccination groups from trying to create data that says otherwise, and that leads us to our story right here. Okay, so there is an anti-vaccination and autism advocacy group. They go by the name of Safe Minds, and they recently raised a bunch of money in order to fund scientific studies to prove their point, and it seems to have backfired in the most beautiful way possible. Six-year study looking into the effect that vaccinations have on the neurological development and social behavior of rhesus call infants funded by this organization concluded there is no evidence at all for such a link. So despite the fact that they funded a scientific study because they said, hey, 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 all your studies, you know, they're no good. We're going to find our own with our own rigorous scientific method and we're going to find the link between vaccines and autism. What they found, absolutely no link at all. But of course, they're going to use their same argument. The results don't change a thing. Their statement said they have concerns about changes in the study design protocol and analysis that may have led to these contradictory results. Contradictory to what? Your terrible hypothesis, apparently. Okay, so the study, which was pro published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Scientists, involved 79 infant monkeys. They were all given a bunch of vaccines and there was a control group. Study found no link between vaccines and autism. That's the bottom line. So this is pretty glorious, folks. So what do we have to say about all this? The bottom line here is that these anti-vaxxers are still going at it. For some reason, they are obsessed with this now proven to be falsified study. They can't even replicate a study that proves what they're saying. And the bottom line is, and what's so hilarious is like, Almost any interest group, if they spend enough money, can find a study that will prove whatever they want it to prove, right? Numbers are pretty easy to fudge with statistics. Um, there are a lot of ways to reinterpret data to make it sound how you want. If this group couldn't do it, there's a high chance that vaccines don't cause autism, right? So I'm gonna be putting the nail in the coffin on these stories on The Fowler Show. I think this is about it for us, but let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe.